What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rabbit's Used Cars. You see this? I want you to write this down because this is a red letter day in history because this is something I don't say very often. Quite possibly, my favorite Dodge of all time is this very car. This B5 Blue 2016 SRT Challenger. I love this car. The guy that owns it, I love. He's that guy that I love to mess with. He comes to all the local car shows, but he has built, hands down, one of the baddest chalies around here. I love this car. And this car has been all over the country. And the thing, what I, I think what I like about the car, every time you look at it, you see something else. Just little touches. And this guy's diehard Mopar, so naturally, me and him mix like oil and water. Like, this car is just killer. Carbon fiber split or Madison supercharger. This thing, he, he jokes around says it makes around 600 horsepower, although I've seen it outrun a demon. 600 eats demons. I mean, just little touches. And then, you know, there's a lot of custom challengers out there. You know, a lot of guys do the same things. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but... Just little touches. I mean, you know, of course, I love all the blackout treatment on it. You know, and all the slick, shiny black against the B5 Blue. Got the Mr. Norm Cuda conversion. You got to be careful how you say that. It's not like that thing old Caitlyn Jenner got. Just saying. That's a different kind of conversion. But anyway, I love this car. Full cage. Not only does it look the part, but this thing will freaking fly. I rode in this car two times. Both times the cops were involved. This car and cops, this thing's been on the power tour four times. Would have been five, damn pandemic, but four times long haul on the power tour from end to end. It's been on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine. I mean, that's saying something for a late model challenger. And then they just took it. We're actually going to film this story back when we had the van because that's actually what we're talking about. We're talking about a van. I know what you're saying, but there's a challenger here. It all works together just Shut up and listen. That's all I'm saying. He was telling me this story. And I'm like, man, you need to bring that badass challenger. And I want to tell that story. I love that story. I love that story because it sounds like something I would do as a teenager. Well, there's only one problem. I'm going to be on Route 66. We're driving it from one end to the other. They just got back. First of all, did you hear what I just said? Route 66, that's a pretty damn big road. They ended up in California and drove it back. And it made it. And it's a Dodge. So that's a miracle in itself. That being said, it's a fast Dodge that I like. All three of these things together, special. Now pretend it's a van. We're moving on. So John, the guy that owns this badass B5 Blue Mopar. I don't know why I call it a Mopar because I like it. This, this gorgeous car. We'll leave it at that. He was telling me a story. He said, man, I love that Ford Custom van you got. And I'm like, man, you need to come on down, check it out. And, you know, everybody's busy doing their own thing and all this stuff. And he's too busy to see me. And I'm just here. We're talking about this van. I said, yeah, man, it's cool. It's got shag and tear in it and this and the side pipes and the flares. He goes, that ain't nothing, man. He said, I had a Dodge. My first car was a 1972 Dodge Tradesman 200 van. And he goes, now that was a shagging wagon. Flares, shag on the inside. It was blue. And he goes, man, he said, that was my man. And I had it when I was 16 years old. First thing it popped in my head. I would have my own baseball team at home if I had a van like that when I was 16 years old. Do you realize? Could you imagine having a daughter and that come pulling up in front of your house to pick your daughter up for a date? Just saying. I'm going to leave that one where it's at. This is where the story gets fun. He goes, man, I love this custom van. He was telling about his neighbor that had a custom van. Who he actually got it from? And it was all wild. All these wild vans. You know, this is back in the 70s. You know, so it was afros and just bell bottoms and everything. And he's telling me it was such a fun time. And he goes, we lived in Virginia. And, you know, he said the big thing was personalized plates. Vanity tags. I come up with the best personalized plate ever. 
The trick was is convincing the DMV to let me do it. And I'm like, so what is this vanity plate? And he told me. And I'm like, there's no way they let you do that. He goes, no, they didn't, but I tried. I said, so you're telling me you went to the DMV and you wrote this down and you handed this to a lady at the DMV. He goes, yes. He said, I even had a story to go with it. I'm a sucker for a good story. So I guess if I say it, I could get in trouble. But if I show it to you, maybe it'll be okay. Everybody knows old Travis Bell from Vin Wiki. You know, Travis is the coolest guy ever. It's like one of my best buddies. After I heard this story, it's like, you know, while John was out on Route 66, while all of us here were working, asshole, you know, I was thinking, boy, it would be nice to do something nice for my buddy. You know, he's going to bring his car here, and maybe let me drive it or something, take me to dinner in it. You know, I'll do something nice. So I'll ring up old Travis. I said, Travis, son, you're the tag man. He said, I'm the tag man. I said, a man that can make anything. He said, I can make it happen. And I said, I'm going to text you something that I need on a tag verbatim on a Virginia plate. He goes, done. Send it to me. And he came through. The next week, I got this in the mail. Now, can you imagine writing out this form in the DMV and putting this on a tag or putting this on the form and hand this to a lady at the DMV? Probably going to catch an eye or two. But he had a story. He had a story. And this is where it gets epic because this is straight up Rob Pitts 110%. I'm, I'm a sucker for a pitch. I mean, and you're going to be a hell of a salesman to talk them into this. So how in the hell did you pass this off to the lady at the DMV? Because a blind man can see that this is not going to work. He goes, simple. He said, it's in honor of two of my friends that died in a car crash, and it's their initials. And they bought it. Well, he thought he had it home free. Someone else saw it. It got kicked and he never got his tag. So that's when I got old Travis Bell to make it happen for him and make him his tag. I love that story. I think that's the coolest thing ever. Almost as cool as this badass challenger. I mean, that's the thing. Could you imagine the van come riding up with this tag on the back of it? That's what I love about it, man. I love the story. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. You see, just look into the camera. There's three of them. <laughs> look into all three at once. Has anybody noticed how bad damn mosquitoes are? Huh? Mosquitoes. Oh, they're terrible right now. It's horse shit. I got bit on my damn elbow. I got it. When I was out there, I got it right there in the middle. Ugh. That sucked. It hurt. Red? Yes. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rabbit's Used Cars. Hang on, I got an eye booger. Okay. What's going on, guys? Cuda conversion. Got to be careful how you say that one. Cuda conversion. They're talking about that thing Caitlyn Jenner got. That'd be shut up and listen. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to pull it all in. So, man, he said, I love that Ford. I love that Ford custom van you've got. Was a 1972 Dodge trade. I can't talk. Short, simple, and to the point. Sound good, John? Sound good to me. Sound like a fucking winner to me, too. About nine minutes. Perfect.